good morning children today we shall do the comprehensive question answers for the lesson nani's walk to the park so starting with the first question what does nani do in the lane of treasures children we read in the lesson that nani tells us that there are so many shops in the lane of treasures and she does shopping in the lane of treasures so what does nani do nani does shopping in the lane of treasures all right now moving on to the second question what happens in the lane of beauty we read that in the lane of beauty there were so many ladies who used to stitch beautiful things like godis and one of the lady she handed over a godi to nani which had few patches of her old favorite sari and also some pieces of venki's mother's kurta all right now we move on to the third question what does nani call out in the lane of happiness what do nani and venki do there what do we find in the story children in the lane of happiness there were so many animals that came out when nani called out right okay so what does nani ko whom does nani call out nani calls out animals like cats and dogs in the lane of happiness and what do nani and venki do they nani and venki pour milk into the bowls for the animals and they also enjoy watching them lick it clean all right now let's move on to the fourth question what are the children doing in the lane of mischief yes children yes i know that this is your favorite question in the lane of mischief where do you find lane of mischief it was behind the school okay and there the nani and venki so many children playing few traditional games of india like langadi laghori and sakli so what what were children doing in the lane of mischief in the lane of mischief children were playing some traditional games like langadi lagori and sakli all right so moving on to the next question had nani named all the lanes in the city had nani named all the lanes no nani did not name all the lanes in the city all right and which lanes had she named nani had named only few lanes which was important to her all right so she did not name all the lanes of the city she does not want to go to all the lanes of the cities right she wants only few lanes which she is interested in so what all lanes did she name she named few lanes like the lane of uh, shopping or she named it as lane of treasures uh, the lane of quilt maker she named it as lane of beauty lane behind the school was named as lane of mischief and the lane with booksellers she named it as lane of dreams and so on like that she had mean named few more lanes like that which she was interested in all right so now the sixth question whom did nani meet in the lane of friendship what did they do together whom did nani meet nani met her childhood friend in the lane of friendship and what did they do together they whispered they giggled together they talked together all right and nani also gave her a hug while leaving now children don't get confused over here here there is some typing mistake so that is why after question number 5 it has been typed as question number 7 okay so in your copies you can just correct it up okay now moving on to the next question what can be found in the lane of dreams what can be found yes we find many booksellers selling books and that too in a very reasonable price reasonable or very cheap price all right okay so and uh, why is it called so why is it called so uh, lane, uh, lane of dreams why is the booksellers lane called as lane of dreams yes because books are something which take us to a different world right when we read story books what happens we start imagining things we we go into a land of dreams right so that is why 
Nani has named the slaying of booksellers as the laying of dreams. Alright, I hope it's understood to you. Now, moving on to the ninth question. Why is the laying of magic called so? Yes, why is it? Because there were so many big, big trees like what? Like Gulmohar, Amaltas, Jarul trees and all these trees, what do they have? A speciality, what is a speciality in them? They have beautiful, colorful, beautiful, bright colored flowers in them. All right. And when these flowers, they fall on the road, it looks as if the road has turned into a magic carpet. So that is why Nani calls this lane as the lane of magic. Why? Because of these fallen flowers from these big trees, the road seems to be a magic carpet. Now, the last question, what does uh, Wink? Does Venki like Nani's walk to the park? How do we know? Does he like? Of course he likes. Why? How did you know that? Children, we read in the lesson. In the end, he sits and he starts thinking about the people he met during his, their journey and the places he visited, how he enjoyed. And in the end, what does he tell to Nani? He tells Nani, can I come? To park with you next week also right so from this we can understand that Venki was very much happy with this with the walk to the park in the end of the story Venki asked Nani if he could accompany her next week too right so this tells us that he enjoyed the walk to the park now moving on to the third question Rearrange the following sentences in the correct order of the events as, ha as they happened in the story. So children here, the events of the story are given in a jumbled up form. So what we have to do is we have to arrange all these jumbled up events in the correct order. Alright, so first let's read the events that are given. First, Nani feeds milk to the animals in the lane of happiness. Second, Nani then went to the lane of dreams and chose a book for herself. Third, Nani and Venki reached the park at last. Fourth, a lady gave Nani a godi in the lane of beauty in which Venki saw a piece of a favorite sari and a bit of his mask kurta. Fifth, Nani showed Venki the gulmohar, amalthus and jarul trees in the lane of magic. Sixth, they then went to the lane of mischief, uh, which reminded Nani of Venki and his friends. Seventh, Venki wanted to go with Nani to the park. Eighth, Venki looked around and thought of all the people and places he had seen that morning. He asked Nani if he could come with her the following week too. Ninth, Nani met and hugged her friend in the lane of friendship. Tenth, Nani first went to the lane of treasures. Okay, so children, these are the events that are given, but in a jumbled up form. So now we shall put all of these in the correct order. Now children, this is the correct order of events. What, okay, what happens first? First is number seven. Venki wants to go with Nani to the park. And the second event is number 10. Nani first went to the lane of treasures. Now what happens after that? It is fourth, a lady gave Nani a godi in the lane of beauty in which Venki saw a piece of a favorite sari and a bit of his mother's kurta. Okay, now which is the fourth event? It is number one, Nani feeds milk to the animals in the lane of happiness. The fifth event, it is number six, they then went to the lane of mischief which reminded Nani of Venki and his friends. Alright. Now, coming to the sixth event, it is number nine. Nani met and hugged her friend in the lane of friendship. After that, Nani goes to the lane of dreams, right? So, it is number two. Nani then went to the lane of dreams and chose a book for herself. After that, where do they go? They go to the lane of magic. So, that is number five. Nani showed Venki the Gulmohar, Amaltas and Jarul trees in the lane of magic. Then the ninth event is number three. Nani and Venki reached the park at last. 
Okay. Now the tenth and the final event is number eight. Venke looked around and thought of all the people and the places he had seen in seen that morning. He asked Nani if he could come with her the following week too. All right, children. I hope it's clear to you now, and you will do it yourself.